All right, this is Anthony Johnson with MarijuanaPolitics.com here at the Oregon Medical Marijuana Business Conference. And uh, joining me here today is uh, Henry Wykowski, who is uh, the preeminent cannabis tax attorney. The pesky 280E IRS tax provision uh, plagues the cannabis industry, and Henry is the go-to attorney uh, for people dealing with that. But first, before we get into the tax issue, I kind of wanted to go back in time uh, when you graduated uh, from law school from the University of Tulane. Uh, you started working uh, in the civil rights era, and I wanted to uh, just kind of touch on your early uh, legal career first, if you don't mind. Sure, not a problem. Thank you, Anthony. Well, um, I uh, basically was broke when I went to law school, and I had to work, and I got a job with an attorney named Ben Smith, who was a very well-known civil rights attorney in New Orleans. And uh, Ben uh, convinced me after I graduated from Tulane that I should stay in uh, New Orleans and practice law with him rather than to go back and work with William Kunstler. Uh, and I accepted that position. So I practiced with uh, Ben for about two years. And I had an amazing opportunity to uh, meet Jimmy Carter before he began his presidential campaign. And he and I hit it off. And he offered me a job. And I went to work for him. and. We all know uh, what happened next. Well, he was one of the most uh, underrated presidents of all time, in my uh, personal opinion, and it was uh, very progressive on uh, cannabis issues, uh, particularly for that uh, time period before uh, the Reagan administration kind of ruined all the gains the cannabis uh, movement has made. Now, we fast forward a couple of decades, and you have become like the go-to attorney for uh, cannabis businesses who are dealing with the IRS and the fact that uh, cannabis businesses cannot deduct normal and customary expenses like other businesses can. And uh, one of the, uh, I guess, foremost dispensaries in the country, Harborside, um, has been targeted by the federal government and they have managed to keep their doors open. Can you uh, kind of expound a little bit on how you got involved representing Harborside and the status of uh, their case with the federal government? Sure. Well, you know, the way that I got involved in representing all of the dispensaries is that the federal government was not being successful in closing down the medical cannabis dispensaries in San Francisco uh, because of their popularity with the uh, jury pool. And uh, somebody came up with the bright idea that, well, you know, the way we got Al Capone was through taxes, so maybe we can use that against the dispensaries. So they audited a dispensary called CHAMP, and the attorneys for CHAMP realized that they needed to get somebody with federal criminal experience, but also new tax law. And there wasn't a deep pool of people they could go to. They came to me because I had represented a number of high-profile cannabis cases, and I agreed to represent CHAMP. Of course, we went to trial in CHAMP and got a wonderful verdict. So when Harborside was audited, Steve D'Angelo called me up and asked me if I would uh, undertake their representation. Uh, I agreed to do that, and during the course of representing them in the audit, uh, they were served with a federal forfeiture notice. And all of the lawyers that Steve consulted with said, well, there's nothing you can do about this. You might as well close the doors, except for me. And I told him I thought that this was a case that we could fight, that we should fight, and that we could win. And here we are three years later, and they haven't been closed for five minutes, and uh, I consider it to be one of the most significant victories of my professional career. Yeah, thank you for your work there, uh, Henry. For people that are unaware, Henry is a uh, fighter, one of the few lawyers you know, fighting the federal government on this issue, and he's really there on the front lines protecting the cannabis industry. We're really uh, facing you know, unjust, both criminal laws as well as the IRS tax provision. All right, Henry, how can uh, our viewers here at MarijuanaPolitics.com uh, learn more about you? Well, uh, they could go to uh, our website, uh, www Wykowski Law, I believe, but I don't know. I haven't checked it in a while. I also think if you just Google my name and put marijuana after, after it, you'll see the numerous conferences that I'm asked to speak at and uh, different articles in which my background has been uh, uh, set out. Yep. Thank you so much, Henry, for taking the time today and for all your work. And I imagine we'll see you in San Francisco for the International Cannabis Business Conference. So thank you very much. Thank you. Uh -huh.